Well, hello, Scrap Cash family. So, what do you do on your day off? You hang out? Do you run across my driveway? Do you lay around and watch TV? What do you do? Well, this is my empire. This is what I do. I got a scrap yard. Yeah. I take this truck and this sweat bee apparently that's following me around and go to the scrap yard. Take all that. Take that wire, take that brass, take that ACR, take that stainless. I take that copper and I go turn it into Cohen bucks, Cohen money. You know what I mean? Could I stay home, play around, watch TV? Why sure. Is that something I want to do or would I rather make money? Really? So, this is my empire. This is what I do. I don't know what you all do. I know what some of you do. Does, I mean, I really don't know exactly what everybody does. But, yeah. Just having a good old time making money. And when I get this one emptied, guess what? I get to fill it again. So that's an insight into what I do. Now, feel free to comment on what you all do for fun. This is what I do. And you might ask, well, Mr. Scrap for Cash, well, what do you do when there's no scrap to be had? Then what do you do? Well, And you go find out where it's at. It's got to be somewhere. There's a dumpster somewhere holding something of value at this very moment. The quest would be you got to find that dumpster. Where is it? Where is that dumpster? Is it close by? Is it far away? I can tell you how you'll never find it. Being on the couch watching TV. That's okay to do that when you get done scrapping. Or when your trucks are full and you've had the lick. probably need to hold off on scrap but until then you gotta keep looking keep hunting it's out there you can find it let's go to the scrap yard shall we did you ever notice or think about how it's you know 
usually if something happens or it's like an exclamation that you're making where you know somebody pulls out in front of you and you, you know, Jesus Christ now, I, I don't know where that started or why that started I don't know why invoking his name is usually a prelude or a result of something unusual or unintended happening but at some point somebody decided that wasn't good enough just to say Jesus Christ then they had to throw an F-bomb in there and that's just wrong that's just wrong Scrap for Cash Army we are making the turn to the scrapyard. Going to unload a bunch of stuff. Make a little money. Know what I mean? And we're going to see if anybody's out here. See if they got any people out here or not. really seeing nobody yeah well with the other location closed I really expected this place to be jam-packed and the drive-through is clear which means I gotta switch you all over Get you on my head. What are you doing, Phil? Having fun. What are you doing? Making money. Thanks to you guys. <sighs>
shut us down and we don't we don't Good swipe ideas thing. like that. So. I got you. Stephen, by the way, uh, <laughs> but you saw what happened. <laughs> he punched me in, turned around, handed me my ID back, and said, "Yeah, you're on new do, do not buy list. Can't buy from you." Oh, okay. Yeah, you got something wrong. Well, apparently, they don't swipe IDs in Hamilton. Well, they don't do shit in Hamilton because Hamilton's closed. So there you go. What you doing, girl? <laughs> Say when, dude. What's up, man? What's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? Pretty good. Got your arm. Uh... You got your driver's license on? Yeah, buddy. Thanks, Ethan. Appreciate you, bro. Thanks, sir.
Jerry. Now that here is enough. Scrap for Cash Army. Let's do a weighing page, shall we? The two lamps that I picked up on the side of the road. It was brass, 19 pounds, $1.45 a pound, $27.55. Three pounds of number two copper, paid $8.55. That ACR that, that the maintenance man gave me. Eight pounds for $1.30 a pound, because it had a little iron on it. Paid $10.40. 980 pounds of unclean sheet out of dumpsters after dumpster that was the longest time to get a full truck paid $80.85 165 a net ton two pounds of stainless 34 cents a pound paid 68 cents and 18 pounds of number two insulated wire dollar five a pound for 1890 for a grand total of 146 93 and as i always say and i'm sure you've heard it many times and you're probably sick of hearing it it's better than a sharp stick in the eye but more importantly it just goes to show if you could spend your if you could spend five hours let's say you're you're off you wake up you drink your coffee, you have a little breakfast at the house, you watch a little TV, you get going about 10 o'clock. And you go to the store, or you go to the movies, or you wait till about 5, 5.30, then you all go out to eat dinner. All three of them things I listed just didn't cost money. Or, you can do this. You can get up in the morning, drink some coffee, have a little breakfast. That's fine. I mean, if you're into that sort of shit. Get going about 8 o'clock. Start hitting dumpsters. Get done about 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, or whenever your truck's full. You, know, you may fill your truck up at noon. If you do, then bring it back to your house, unload it, and go find something else. My point being, do all that. That funds walking out your door at your house. Because I promise you this, more often than not, you walk out that door, you're going to, it's going to cost you money. Some way, somehow, it's going to cost you money. And you're going to need money. So, there it is. You don't live to scrap, you scrap to live. Matter of fact, I think I just found a new t-shirt logo. Scrapping to live. Y'all, hope you enjoy the show. There wasn't a whole lot to it, it's just me going to the scrapyard. Uh, they got some new guys there from Hamilton. We had a little drama. You know, apparently I was on a do not buy list for about, I don't know, five seconds. Yeah, can't, yep, here, can't, can't take nothing from you. You're on a do not buy list. 
And I get that he's new, he's not. Why is the road closed? How is the road closed? Explain that to me. So are we not? It can't be closed, there's a car coming that way. <laughs>